we expect next? That is a big question in neighborhoods all across Houston as so many people continue to clean up. Harvey hit a little more than a year after historic rain flooded parts of southeast Louisiana. So who better to ask what's next than the people who are still recovering there? Here's Brett Buffington. Don't these pictures look familiar? If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. This isn't Houston, and that flooding isn't from Harvey. In August of 2016, southeast Louisiana got slammed, not by a hurricane, just a rainstorm, but it seemed like the water wouldn't stop. Just like Houston, they got a year's worth of rain in only a couple of days. I think we're 26 down the two roads. The reality is, a year later, and that's all family, 26 families went on the people here then we still home. aren't back to normal. I'm hoping to be able to move in in October. Cheryl DeLong but, uh, is still rebuilding. Okay. She's so living wait. in a home away from home, only by a few feet. This FEMA trailer has been in her yard for a year now. Contractors have been in her house and the stuff she could save stuffed in the shed. Everything else the water touched was trashed. It's terrible. It's been a story she hopes she'll never relive. The water was like up to here and we had to tear the whole paneling out. In her gutted house, there so wasn't Thanksgiving dinner. Here, Christmas last year wasn't a big deal. And even now, a toilet sits where the dining room table should. I need 165 knobs for my cabinet. There's still a long way to go, <laughs> a really year after the water receded. But Cheryl DeLong We're getting close. will tell you so I'm hoping things do I'm get better. Standing for Houston in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Brett Buffington, KHOU 11 News.